Well, now we're going to just uh, go ahead and get started, and we're going to do the same procedure. It's the same exact procedure as we did before with the 6,000. We're going to do the same with the 8,000. I'm going to change my pad. Note, I put a 6 on it for 6,000 grit. And I'm going to grab my pad labeled 8 for 8,000 grit. I'm going to center the pad on here because they're turning at such a high, P, high RPM, it's imperative you make sure it's, it's in the center. That way, it's not going to come flying off. I'm going to wet the surface and wipe it back down just to try to cool it a little bit because it does get quite hot. Now I'm going to dampen the surface. I'm going to dampen my pad and I'm going to apply some 8,000 grit to the surface. Remember, you don't need a lot depending on what you're doing. So if you over put too much on, you can actually burn the compound, which isn't going to do you any good. Once again, season the pad. and get the slurry over the top. Remember, we're looking for a toothpaste-like consistency, even over the surface that needs to be polished. It's starting to get thick now. So I'm gonna dial down my, my, my polisher like I did before. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. And you can hear it groaning because it's just getting started on the polishing process. At this point, I'm going to turn it up. And as you can see, it's not throwing a lot of compound. At this point, I'm going to clean off the points where the compound is caked up so that I can facilitate a better polish and making sure that I hit all the area so I have a nice, nice uniform polish on the surface. Notice we have a little fissure right, right there. And that compound will come out with the uh, nylon brush. I'm going to wet the surface, wet the pad, and I'm going to do this again.
Well, that concludes 8,000. We're done. Well, as you can see, we've uh, concluded with the uh, 8,000 grit. We have, uh, for all essential purposes, we've achieved the uh, factory finish at this point. You can see the, the middle where we started, what we started with, what we've ended with, and the factory finish over here, the scratch as reference. So we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and uh, do uh, 14,000. Um, a lot of instances, uh, you know, we really don't even need to go to the 14,000. 8,000 is more than sufficient. On occasion with certain stones, it, it is necessary that you go to the 14,000 just to match the factory finish. Um, but as you can see on Uva Tuba, very difficult stone, 8,000. We've already matched it. So we're going to go ahead and do the 14 and see what we come up with.